This video describes how to use the Amplatz wire, in particular the Cook Amplatz wire, in combination with the vertebral vein selector uh, for difficult CS cases where there's difficult CS cannulation. And so the example we have here is a patient uh, with a stenotic CS uh, from a previous LV lead where you can see the wire, the glide wires in place, but it wasn't possible to advance uh, the sheath into the coronary sinus. In this case, it was a, a device company uh, sheath couldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't advance into the CS despite a variety of approaches. Another situation occurs when you have a tortuous CS, as indicated in this situation, um, where the wire, again, would go into the, into the uh, coronary sinus, but the sheath couldn't be advanced. And in this patient, uh, they actually went for an epicardial lead, which failed uh, after a few months. So the goal uh, using the Amplatz wire is to create a rail over which the sheath can be advanced. An angled glide wire uh, advances easily, but provides little support for advancing a sheath. The Cook Amplatz extra stiff wire provides great support, but it's difficult to advance, especially when the CS is tortuous or stenotic. So what do you do? Well, the solution is to use a vertebral vein selector as a conduit to get the Amplatz wire into the coronary sinus uh, or some other catheter. So first, the angled glide wire is advanced into the anterior interventricular vein, so deep into the coronary sinus. And then from there, we'll advance the vertebral vein selector over the glide wire deep into the coronary sinus. Once the vein selector is advanced over the glide wire into the, into the distal CS, then we're going to replace that glide wire, remove that glide wire, and then replace it uh, with the Cook Amplatz wire is advanced through the vein selector into the distal CS. So you may ask, why are we using a Cook Amplatz wire? Not, why not just any Amplatz extra stiff wire. Well, it turns out that the Cook Amplatz has what's called a short trans a, a, a short transition. Uh, so it goes from its floppy section uh, to its stiff section, actually short taper. It goes from its uh, floppy section to the stiff section relatively quickly. So as a result, you get this stiff section into the coronary sinus. Uh, when you put it through the vein selector. On the other hand, if you're using a different type of an Amplatz wire, and all of them seem to be the same, other than the cook, you have a long floppy section. So this section all along here is floppy, um, and as a result, um, you get only the floppy section into the coronary sinus. So with the Cook Amplatz wire inside the vertebral vein selector, you have the stiff section all the way from here, all the way down and around, which, which uh, inside the vertebral vein selector, the combination provides a very powerful rail over which to advance uh, your sheath. On the other hand, if this was any other Amplatz wire, you'd only have a floppy wire inside uh, the vein selector, which would not create a rail of any substance over which to advance your catheter. So going back to the original, one of the original cases, again, this patient uh, received an epicardial lead because of a tortuous CS that could not be cannulated. Um, but the rail created by the Cook Amplatz and the vertebral vein selector combination uh, made CS cannulation relatively easy, as shown here. So, if the Amplatz wire CS cannulation technique is not sufficient, 
you can consider the balloon anchoring technique, which is included on the YV Tips channel. And so here are a summary of the uh, Amplat CS wire cannulation technique. Um, you need the J tip Cook Amplat's wire, um, but again, it tends to push things out of the coronary sinus, so you need a conduit to get it into the into the coronary sinus. Uh, and that for that purpose, I use the Merit vein selector because it's braided and has pushability. Um, you have to be careful when you put the the wire into the coronary when you put the glide wire into the CS so that it doesn't go into the vein of Marshall. Once you get the glide wire deep in the CS, then you um, advance the vein selector, take the glide wire out, and put the cook in. And again, a couple technical points. Uh, this technique works for any type of delivery system sheath. Um, the Amplat's extra stiff wire must be a cook for the reasons I described in the video. And finally, if the Amplat's wire CS cannulation technique is not sufficient, then the anchor balloon technique can be uh, used. I hope you find this useful, and thank you for your attention.